they're still sleeping. Just had my first cup of coffee. I'm still drinking it. Today is like so nice out. It's like fall. Like there is a breeze. It's like 60. Let me see. 63. And the high is only supposed to be 75. And it's like breezy and partly sunny. Perfection. So the plan is today. It's just me and my little guy, my toddler. Um, I really want to do some thrifting, obviously. So I think that what is today? Today's Monday. So my favorite little thrift store is not open. It's only open on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Yeah, so I think what we'll do is probably just do like a regular old Goodwill run. Maybe this cute little thrift store in Freeport. I love this other thrift store. It's like my favorite, favorite, favorite. The reason I always end up going to Goodwills um, is because of their hours. Like a lot of, I really can't see my eyeballs, but I just woke up, so I guess I'll leave them on. A lot of thrift stores have like horrible hours. And I think because like a lot of them are volunteer run, but so it kind of forces you to go to Goodwill and you know, they're not the best, like ethically, you know, from what I've heard. I mean, I don't know. I'm not like a reporter. Uh, and also like their prices are a little crazy right now. So other thrift stores are preferred in my opinion for me, but that's why I always go to Goodwill. I've had like a lot of people ask me on my Instagram, like, do you only go to Goodwill? And I'm like, no, but if I want to for sure go thrifting, they're there, like they're open. And so I think that's why I go a lot because, um, just of, out of convenience. So yeah. So I think today I'll try to go to Goodwill and maybe another one, another thrift store. Um, life update. I was doing this little booth at this vintage market in, in town. Um, and this wasn't my last month because I don't know. I don't want to talk badly about them, but I also guess what I'll say is that I don't align with how they run their business. So that's that. So I will be leaving and I don't know if I'm going to um, have a physical booth for a little while. I think that I just need to kind of chill. I love my Instagram like online sales and I really want to start posting more of my items on Etsy because I do love Etsy. If you're a new reseller, if like you're just getting into it, really try Etsy because they take a little bit of a cut. It's not bad, especially now being like in a, like I've been in a couple booths now, um, they also take a cut and then Etsy is easier because you don't have to put anything in a booth you know you can just keep it at your house so there's pros and cons to both um selling online and having a physical booth or storefront but for me right now it's just easier to do online um because I have a toddler when I don't when he goes to school I'll have so much more time and now I can focus on a booth then I believe I don't know never say never because I'm a little crazy you know tomorrow I might decide to have a booth um, I think if it was in the right location, it would align with me, but it really brings me a lot of stress right now trying to like stock a place, um, as well as do my Instagram sales and as well as have an Etsy shop. So I really want to focus on my Etsy shop and just my Instagram because I love having sales on my Instagram. I really love everybody on there. They're so nice and it's so fun and people get like excited about, um, the sale so it's fun it kind of brings a little like um excitement to it instead of just putting my stuff somewhere and not knowing who it is who's buying it and whatnot so I like having my online stuff and like I kind of have like repeat customers now and it's really really fun but if you are starting out new I would suggest Etsy it's super easy it's actually easier than having my Instagram sales uh but I kind of enjoy those more, but <clears throat> it's easy as in you don't have to gather anyone's shipping information. You don't have to gather their payment 
nothing like that. Etsy does that for you. So you simply take nice photos of your items, you put in the measurements, and you upload it onto your shop. And then if someone goes to buy it, they pay, they input their shipping and all of that. You do have to print their shipping label and box it up and send it. So, but it's so much easier. So you, so I use Pirate Ship. It's a website that gets you discounted um, shipping labels. Ooh, I think Frank's waking up. I see him on the monitor. So anyway, I use Pirate Ship. And then with Etsy, you can link your Etsy account and it will pull up whoever just made an order and you can just print it right from there. It is so easy. So maybe sometime I'll make like a full dedicated video on how to sell on Etsy or how to get started reselling, something like that. So let me know if that's something you're interested in. I have had a few people, not a few, a lot of people messaging me on Instagram asking me like how I got started, what I do, um, tips, things like that. Oh. Frank's little breakfast. It's just cinnamon toast with a little bit of peanut butter and waffles. Waffles <laughs> and watermelon. And I'm not gonna lie to you, he is already eating pirate's booty. So I don't know how much of this he'll eat. This is all I have left for wipes. I have like a wipe in here. So um, we have to go pick up my Target order um, stat. We are at the will. Got my coffee. It's a little bit too much cream, but that's alright. Still divine. I'm so bad at the chocolate signature. I'm gonna eat some to Frank. But after I eat this, we're gonna go in, see what we can find. Taking a toddler into a store should be an Olympic sport. <laughs> I'm sweating. He's so good, but I forgot my wallet in the car, and so I had to come back out, run with him, and then go back in and pay for my stuff. And oh, I'm tired now. So anyway, sorry, I'm trying to like have the air on, but also I'm sorry if it's loud. Okay, so let me just do a little quick haul. I put in footage, um, well I will, of I got this huge um, clothes drying rack, which I'm so excited about. I've always wanted one of those huge ones. And it was only $10, I'm keeping it for myself. So excited about that one. Okay, so I got these little Gap shoes for Frank when he's old, because these are not gonna fit any of my boys. My older boys, like, they're too big for these. And also this isn't really um, my middle son's style. I think he could squeeze into these, but they're not really his style, but I thought they were so cute, so I had to grab them. And then, oh my gosh, I got this little sifter. Is this not like the most darling little thing I had to get it because blueberries, very vintage. It's a recipe for blueberry pie on there. It is so cute, little wooden handle. I didn't get a lot in there, um, but some good stuff. So then I got these, um, duck mugs I had put on my Instagram like thrift or pass I had oh he's pounding the juice um I had passed on these okay <laughs> Frank you okay I had passed on these the other day I don't know why I just was like okay girl you can't get everything easy 
Okay, all done. Um, and so I got them today. They were still here, so I got them. They're so cute. I'm glad they were still here. It's a sign. And, oh, I got this little crock. Is this? I don't normally like the brown ones, but I thought this was so cute because it's so small. Um, just the stamp on it just says USA. I don't know. So cute. Looks like somebody used it for a candle, which is adorable. Then, this is like totally Christmas. But this is from um, <clears throat> Talbot's. That's it. Super thick, like, uh, canvasy material. Look at this darling Christmas apron. So cute. It's hard to find like Christmas stuff that isn't like cheesy looking, you know? So that was my little haul and Frank wants me to get going. So I will go. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we're gonna go, Frank. All right, well, whew, I'm sweating. Frank, can you say bye? Bye. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Oh, okay. Thank you guys so much for watching, and please subscribe if you're not already. Follow me over on Instagram. I post so much over there, so many thrift hauls. Um, but yeah, this is where I'm gonna end the vlog. Thank you guys so much. Bye.